Look, y'all. Today we got something good. We got a little side dish. It was recommended by one of my subscribers. So I said, let me go on and do that today on this Saturday. But look, y'all, how y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? That's good. But look, <laughs> before we get into it, go on and do the housekeeping. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also hit the bell to be notified. If you're not getting my videos coming to your phone, make sure you check, uncheck that bell and check it back and see if they fix it, okay? But look, let's go on and get to the nitty gritty. Y'all, we're going to make some homemade mashed potatoes. I know some of y'all already know how to make it. <laughs> but for those who don't know how to make it, let's, let me show you how I do mine. So go ahead, get you a pot of water. Go and get it on the stove right now because you know it takes like three hours or something for the water to start boiling. <laughs> I'm just playing. But it do take a little while for the, to get that little boil. So uh, put some water in your pot. Go ahead and sprinkle some salt in that water and let it get to a boil. And then we're going to put our little potato pieces inside the water. And then we're going to make sure it's fork tender, okay? So go on and look down here. I'm going to show you how I cut my potato. I got a rusty potato. Now I got six potatoes now. It depends on how many you want. You know, my rule of thumb is two potatoes per person. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up and get this off of the knife like that. <laughs> And then you just gonna cut it up. That's it. Just cut it up. And then, ooh, are you trying to make the potatoes run away from me? And you just cutting them up in little pieces like that. Like this, okay? And you make sure you put it back in your water and you're gonna rinse these off again to get, you know, get out everything off and make sure they're good and clean before you put it in the boiling water and bring them back up. And like I said, make sure you boil it to fork tender. Now, I'm going to show you all the seasons I put in my mashed potatoes. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on boil. Bro, why are you trying to sabotage me, Saturday? I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a boil. Boil these mashed potatoes and make sure they fork tender, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to bring it back with the pole pot. And we're going to season this thing up, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I finished boiling these potatoes. Like I said, these are six small rusted potatoes, okay, that I cut up and boiled. So now, this is the easy part, okay? I'm going to put one stick of butter. And you can adjust it to your family how they like their food. But I'm showing you how I make my mashed potatoes. And this is the best mashed potato <laughs> that you ever will put your lips on, okay? Okay, so one stick of butter. This is one teaspoon of adobo. Put that on now. One teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. And I'm putting two teaspoons of seasoned salt. Then we're going to put, this is a half a cup of sour cream. I love my sour cream in my mashed potatoes. So if you don't like sour cream in yours, just don't put it in out. <laughs> All right. Then I got a half of a block of cream cheese. Put that in now. Now don't don't criticize me. I'm gonna use some ranch dressing. This is like an eight one eighth of a cup of ranch dressing. Quit playing with her until you try it. I guarantee you're gonna like it. Because I know you're probably like, huh? What? Oh, quit playing. <laughs> then I like to mush it up like this. I'm going to also use a hand mixer. But I like to kind of get it all smashed up first. Oh, it smells good. Y'all smell it. Okay. Now, I'm going to put, now you can use, this is heavy whipping cream. You can use milk or heavy whipping cream. I'm going to use, this is like one eighth of a cup of uh, heavy whipping cream. And if you need more, you can just add more. But I think she'll be fine. I know some people like theirs clumpy like this, but I like it smooth. <laughs> I like it silky smooth. So I'm going to hook up 
my hand mixer. <laughs> Okay, and then we just gonna mix it. Okay. This how I like my mashed potatoes. This is the best mashed potatoes. This is the only way you should make your mashed potatoes. <laughs> And that's all it is to it. That's all it is to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish creaming her up. And then I'm gonna plate her up so you can see the finished product. She you already. I be back. Y'all, I can't. <laughs> I'm back. But look, I just got through mixing this mashed potatoes and it's a little too thick for my liking. Now, you probably like your mashed potatoes a little thick, but uh, I want mine just a little bit thinner. So what I'm going to do, I got some heavy whipping cream. So I'm just going to pour a little heavy whipping cream in there and see how that do. See if that helps. Cause it all depends on like how, what kind of texture you want your mashed potatoes. Just a few. I'm gonna pour a little more. the best homemade mashed potatoes that you ever put on your lips before. <laughs> y'all, I was just playing, go ahead. But look, y'all, I, I need to go on and show y'all this. I need to go on and show you. But look, you know the holidays is coming up, so you can go ahead and make this for the holidays, some homemade mashed potatoes, not the instant kind, but the homemade kind. And you saw how easy it was. Like for my family, I made six small uh rusted potatoes while well, i use six small rusted potatoes and you saw all the stuff i did with in the seasons and stuff and stuff so go and look at her go and look at her she is cute <laughs> she cute i put a little butter on there put a little melted butter on there you know what i'm saying and i put a little uh food glitter you see her she is cute quit playing with her quit playing that's the best mashed potatoes that you will put on them lips. Go on and try out and think I'm playing. Go on and try out and think I'm playing. <laughs> y'all, it's been so fun with y'all today. I hope y'all having a wonderful weekend. I hope your weather is nice out there. Ours is nice. It's a little chilly, but the sun is out. So that's all you need, right? <laughs> y'all, I love y'all. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also hit the bell to be notified. I love you. Stay safe out there. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.